Well, to do, it's Ailey. Today's video is an impromptu one. Um, I'm sorry, I am working on something more like the others that I've done, more scripted and, you know, long worked out. That will be released when it's ready. So don't worry, that's still happening. But today's video is much more off the cuff. What happened was with the reversal of Roe vs Wade in America, I ended up writing a prayer to Breezia, which I shared with The Hold, which is their Discord run by Wolf the Red and Ocean Kelto. But I, I kind of wanted to post it here too, mostly because I know as a solo practitioner how isolating it can feel to be on your own when stuff like this happens and we're all facing this sort of bad news and restriction of rights. So whilst it's not quite the same as being in person to pray together, it's kind of is a way that we can pray together. Not that I'm saying this is the correct way to pray, don't view this video as a how to pray video please, it's nothing recon or anything like that and I've actually taken out the ritual element and just left the prayer element in. Um, and I put the full text of the prayer in the description underneath as well so you can copy and paste it, change it, amend it how you need to make it work for you. So yeah, that's sort of where I'm at with that. It's a prayer to Breezia. The reason is St. Breezia of Kildare is often seen as the Christian synchronisation with the Gaelic goddess Breezia. And St. Breezia, she undid a pregnancy of a young woman who, after a dalliance, found herself with child and, and didn't want to be. So she seems like the perfect goddess to reach out to at the moment for other reasons as well, um, in my opinion. So yeah, if you take a deep breath in and out, I will, I'll read the prayer. Great goddess, Breezia, she who rules the forge, she who offers healing, she who inspires the poets, bright-faced goddess, I call out to you. I hear the pain of many people in mourning, as in the USA, important rights are taken from them. I call out to you, and remember that you have known pain and loss. I ask, as so many find themselves overwhelmed by fierce and hurt emotions thrust upon them, do you help them hold those emotions and find ways to express that pain, to let that pain be heard? For when you felt loss, you invented keening to express your heartache. You are the goddess beloved by the poets, and so inspire us to talk about our pain. There is strength in emotion. And I pray that you help people find that strength and find themselves a path through those feelings. I pray that you lend your gentleness to each person who's been hurt. You are the healer and you feel a doctor's anger at the damage that will be done to people's bodies. Help us in your justice extend that love to our communities. As we ask you to hear our pain, we listen to one another's too. To the fear, to the numb, to the sorrow. And with a fierce well of love, we listen. We look at the system that is hurting so many. Bright goddess, battle goddess, lift our anger too. You who man the forge, help us forge new ways. Help us not just in healing our hurt, but in defending the right to care for our bodies. Help us heal what is broken. Help us tend the flame of this anger. A forge has been a tool for innovation and discovery and so help us forge a new path to something better. For we will not let this rest. This is a battle that will be carried by many shoulders. And in your grace and your strength, we pray that people keep fighting back and we pray for the rights to abortion, contraception and same-sex marriage end up enshrined in something with deeper, stronger roots than Roe ever had. We call upon you, Breezia, good queen, wise judge, compassionate healer, for you have always been an ally to our cause. We will persist, as you persisted to help those who followed you, even as they called you by others' names. We will find power in our anger, as you have showed power in your pain. We will stand by people's rights to their bodies, as you in your healing have time and time again. We stand by our LGBTQI community, our family and our friends, and we trust in your strength to help us fight the fight that must be fought and to persist in changing a world that can be better. I offer this prayer sincerely. A small thing, perhaps, but it means much. I ask for all this in your name, Breezia. Your compassion enduring. 
as it was, as it is, as it will be. So there's, there's my prayer. Thank you for listening and praying with me. And remember that right now is the time to look after you and yours and to, yeah, deal with those emotions and give yourself space for the anger and the numbness. It's also the time to start thinking about community activism and looking out to your local areas to what can be done there. Thoughts and prayers aren't enough. It's got to be thoughts and prayers plus action. This video is meant to create a space of prayer, but I've linked some stuff in the description underneath as well if you're struggling to know where to start taking action. But know this, you are heard, you are cared about, and you are not alone. Take care.